After just over 15 days in the launch, we already have mods for KSB2. Finally. Not finally. We have not even passed the one month mark yet. And amount of mods available to use is crazy. This community is so active. The game has so many bugs. At this point some mods work as a quick fix for the issues. Until the official patch releases on March 16th. Or maybe not. We might just have to keep making mods to solve the bugs. In this video, I will showcase some most required mods to play this game, otherwise. To load mods in KSB2, we need a mod loader. That can dump all the mods in the game. To perform this in KSB1, we had mod manager, in KSB2 we have some options. But because it installs quickly and easily, I have chosen space wrap. You can install it from GitHub, link in the description. Download this zip, extract it, and copy the content to this folder. After that, we can see a new option in the main menu called Mods. And quick info, all the mods, which have a small window, can be easily found in the app bar at the bottom right of UI. Let's get to the mods. The first mod is the Cheat menu. To be honest, I can't play KSB without cheats. It's frustrating to start the whole mission from the start again. By using this mod we can bring half back the old cheat menu from KSB1. Using this mod you can refuel the ship. You can do no gravity, no aerodynamics. Unbreakable joints and unbreakable parts, ignoring max temperatures etc. This mod can become a hyper edit of KSB2. The process of installing mods is the same for almost all the mods. Soon enough we should have Seekin support so we don't have to deal with the installation process again and again. Seekin is a handy tool to install all the mods. It pulls all the data directly from GitHub and installs mod fast and easily for you. All mods link in the description. From the link, you can click download here and extract the zip like this, then copy all the content to the main KSB2 folder. If you have purchased the game from Steam, you can find it like this. The next mod is probably my favorite for now, because this solves the lag in some way. Lazy Orbit KSB2 lags crazy while launching heavy rockets, but what if we just skip the first stage and send it directly to Kerbin Orbit? I know half the fun is ruined doing this, but I might skip it rather than wasting my time, and for fun, you can play KSB1. Next mod is the Better Part Manager. The inbuilt part manager is on some mad thing. It just doesn't want to open and lags the whole game. The reason is, it loads the property of the whole ship at once, which has like 100 plus parts, and it lags the game. This mod solves it and loads only the part you clicked on, so faster menu and no lag. Next is the transfer window finder. I know this is straight from KSB1, but I expect this to be in-game, built-in, because for a new player who doesn't have any idea about orbital mechanics, and Gravity Assist won't be able to enjoy the game. And it's a good mod to have. Just like it's good to have subscribed to this channel. Subscribe guys, I appreciate it a lot. The next awesome mod is Stage Info, which displays thrust to weight ratio for all stages, and how much burn time we have left on given fuel levels. It's pretty important to have this info. You know, if you left your ship suborbital out of fuel, then you can use Lazy Orbit to put it in orbit. The best mod is in last, at least it's best for me, Control System 2, this is a semi-scripting feature that allows you to automate the process. This mod was called Control System in KSB1, but I expected this to give to me by the game itself, because to perform certain actions like landing the first stage automatically, or boost backing stations into their original orbit. These are just 6 mods I found special. But there are a lot of mods submitted on Space Dock already, you can check out them also. I will be continuing this mod review series, now and then, just like the Patch Notes series. Hope these mods make your game playable, just like the clickable subscribe button. And like this video, share this with your KSB squad and I will see you in the next video. To install any mod in KSB2, download Space Warp and BPenX from Space Dock, link in the description. 
then open it. It should open like normal, and copy everything directly onto root folder of KSB, then download any mod. Almost all mods are directory self-adjusted, so you just need to click and copy the whole content into root folder of KSB2. If any mod does not have self-directory adjustment, just like this one, then you have to manually copy it into the folder. First go to the bpenx folder, inside find plugins folder, open it, and paste the zip content inside it. Now it will work fine AF.